6 30 7 o'clock i got a couple hours left before dark we're gonna cut a little grass As one of my viewers so aptly pointed out, the dog days of summer is upon us. Yesterday I finished cutting the grass out here, yesterday evening, on both sides of the front yard. I didn't do the backyard again. Today I did a little weed eating around the flowers here, around the back deck, around the flower beds out there, and up through this row of flowers right here. I did a short clip of video update on my garden the other day and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Right now I'm just walking around looking at my flowers. A lot of buds been coming on these hibiscus. This white rose or yellow rose, whatever color it is, looks kind of yellow. Got some new buds coming on. We just planted these roses this year and this thing is three times as big as it was when we planted it. The Easter lilies are making new Easter lilies. I didn't plant them out here until after they bloomed. But all around the roots, little bulbs was growing off. And it's shooting up more Easter lilies. If they survive the winter, maybe we'll have some more Easter lilies out here next year. We just planted this a couple weeks ago, and it's looking really nice. Uh, I saw a gardenia out here when cutting grass yesterday. Let's walk out here and look at that gardenia from dreaming. This bloom, this gardenia bloom is dead now. It's probably been here a couple of days. Got a very nice smell. Gardenia is a sweet smelling flower. Now, I didn't get all the honeysuckle vines trimmed out around here. It's been too hot. I need to get down there on my rear in and root up all them honeysuckle vines. I stood out here the other day and pulled a bunch of them out of the plant though. And it's not growing back thick because uh, I guess it takes a while to recover but I got green leaves coming on all, all over this gardenia bush here. My beans are got blooms coming on them. I blanched and bagged up four quarts of squash out of my garden. That's about a big enough helping for me and Contrary Mary. I got plenty more coming on. I still got plenty in the vegetable bin in the refrigerator if we want to cook some fresh. But we're getting an abundance of it, so I went ahead and blanched and froze. I'm going to say four quarts. Might not be a four quart, they're in quart bags. I'm gonna call them four quarts. I guess tomorrow, day after, I'll have to freeze some more. Good thing we got plenty of room in the freezer. My beans are coming on pretty good. I'll show you a look at my bean plants out there. This tomato plant here is looking really healthy because it's in the shade of my bean plants. Now these bean plants, I should have did more effort into controlling where they grow, but I just stuck up these poles. I'm six feet, right at six feet four, and I'm looking up past nine feet, and they're growing right off the top. I guess they'll be dangling in space here pretty soon. About time for some beans to start getting on them plants. We'll see some blooms pretty soon. They're definitely growing.
marsh plants are looking really good and I got lots of blooms in there. Everywhere you see a squash bloom, it's going to be another squash. My tomato plants are doing okay, but I'm not real happy with them. Not happy with them at all. They usually grow in a lot more, but then they still got plenty of blooms on them, though. I wonder if I can get that back in without breaking it. Yeah. I hear an emergency response vehicle coming up the road. I don't know if he's coming by here or not. We'll walk around the front and see. Let's talk a little bit about vanity. Human beings and vanity. In particular, ah, I sound like he went on up the highway. He's not coming by here. You're watching TV shows. Nothing but commercials, especially lately, even on some of these channels. They bombard you with products they want to sell you. And some of them are downright asinine. Now, Mother Nature provided all of us with a face. Some of us are pretty, some of us are downright ugly. But whatever you dealt, whatever the cards dealt you, it's what you got. You got to learn to live with it. I don't come under the pretty category. I'm old and wrinkled. Speaking of wrinkled, there's a product on the market. And it's the damnest thing you've ever seen. And it's a woman and a doctor. This woman's voice aggravates the hell out of me. I'm not going to name the product. But they're talking about bags under your eyes. And they tried this with my dad. And we rubbed this stuff under his eyes. You could just see the bags disappear. Well, who to do? The rest of the old farts still wrinkled up. Bald-headed and looking old and ugly. If you can't learn to live with what mother dealt you, something wrong with you. Gonna get your bags all gone. What about the bags on the rest of your face? You wrinkle old skin. If you're a wrinkle old fart, you're a wrinkle old fart. Don't waste your money on some stuff like that. So many products on the market that's just designed to take your money. I could rant about that all day. And here lately, nothing but scam phone calls on my phone. I pay, a lot of people just have a cell phone in their house. We have a regular Bell phone in the house. We've had it for years. But I keep getting calls out of the area and people trying to sell me some stuff. And usually we look at caller ID and won't even answer it. But it gets downright aggravating. Sometimes I'll pick up the phone and say, Lady, I got no interest in what the heck you're selling. Slam the phone down in their ear. I want to get me one of these loud horns, can horn. I might do that. <laughs> Usually it's a machine, though. Stick that up to the phone instead of saying hello. Wake their butt up with that horn. Honk, honk. <laughs> well, I weed eat it out there today till I'm plump sweaty getting on hot in the day. I just wanted to rain a little bit. This pee wall bar sitting in the shade and taking it easy on this hot and muggy day.